So my name is Sarah Elsie Baker and I'm a senior lecturer on the postgrad programme and I'm the research coordinator for the school. So my area of research interest is um, design and social inequality, particularly in relation to user experience design, uh, critical design and ethics. Um, I'm particularly interested in gender inequality and how that relates to design. Previous uh, research um, includes a book that I wrote on retro style and the home and in that book um, I explored how the value of retro objects gets made. So um, how something goes from being thought of as a piece of rubbish to being thought of as a, a design item. Um, I've also written num a number of articles, um, one focused on glamour design and feminism. I've also been involved in some practice-based projects, a project called the Mood Bank, um, where I set up a pop-up bank in Wellington where people deposited their mood instead of money. Um, so we wanted to encourage social forms of exchange rather than economic exchange. So my current research project um, hopes to design feminist futures. Um, popular visions of the future tend to be, fall into two camps. Dystopian visions of the future, which include, um, often include environmental destruction, um, industrial breakdown, those sorts of aesthetics, or utopian visions of the future, which um, are full of um, completed to-do lists, uh, glass interfaces, um, not much rubbish around, that sort of thing. And what I would argue is that feminist utopian visions are hard to find. They don't exist in the popular imagination. And what that does is that influences how we think about the future. And that includes designers. It influences how designers think of what the future might be. So in my project, what I'm trying to do is design some methods, design methods that enable people to imagine different alternative futures. So feminist design futures.